and to note that the hearing will be live streamed. Mario, I believe you've, you've um, started the live stream now, thank you. Um, I'm just going to run through the protocol for remote hearings. Only speak when invited to by the chair. If you wish to speak, please raise your hand and direct all communications via the chair. Please ensure that your mics are muted when you are not speaking. And when speaking, please be succinct and do not exceed the allocated time frames. If referring to any written submissions, please refer to the specific page number in the agenda pack. Any new evidence can only be submitted at the discretion of the chair and the agreement of all parties. If you're having technical difficulties, please use the chat function to alert our IT colleague um, or dial in using the details in the invitation. Please do not use the chat function for putting formal questions to the subcommittee. Any persistent disruptive behavior will result in removal from the meeting. Once the application has been considered, any remaining parties will be asked to log out of the hearing. And please do so promptly so that the councillors will have the opportunity to deliberate and to make a decision. Parties will be notified of the decision within five working days. However, if you contact the licensing services tomorrow, you will be offered a skeleton decision. Thank you. I'll move on now to the formal agenda items, uh, onto agenda item one and handing over to members for election of the chair, please. Nominate Councillor Smith. Yeah, second that. Great, thank you very much, everyone. Um, so you'll see, uh, welcome to this meeting today, um, International Food Store, 283 Mayor Street. Um, a couple of items have dropped, dropped off this agenda because they've been resolved already. Um, so we've only got agenda item six really as the focus of the main meeting, um, apart from the other sort of protocols. Um, so we'll just just quickly go around the room. Because, I mean, we all know each other anyway, but just for kind of public reference, um, we'll just go around the room and introduce ourselves. I'm Councillor Smith, Chair of Licensing and also Councillor Stoughton Newington Ward. Councillor Sizer. Councillor Sizer, um, Councillor for Hoxton East and Shoreditch. Councillor Garbett, thank you. Hi, Councillor Garbett, um, Councillor for Dalston Ward. Fantastic. Amanda? Good afternoon. My name's Amanda North from Legal Services, supporting members this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Suba? Uh, good afternoon. I'm Suba Shreed. I'm an Principal Licensing Officer, and I will be presenting the report. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Natalie, um, you, we know who you are, but you can Governance. come in. Yeah. Go Good afternoon. I'm the governance officer supporting the meeting today. Thank you very much. And then we have Mario, our IT expert. Thank you, Mario, for all that. And then we have uh, Guy Hicks. Yeah, I'm Guy Hicks, Raven Consultants. So I'm uh, representing the applicant today. That's great. Thank you very much for that. Um, so we'll just go through the agenda. So agenda item one is the action of chair that's been done. Um, agenda item two, apologies for absence. I don't believe we received any. Is that right, Natalie? Yeah, you're nodding. Yeah, brilliant. Yes. Um, Agenda item three is declarations of interest. Do members have any declarations of interest today? None, thank you. Um, and then agenda item four, minutes of the previous meeting. We have some minutes from previous meetings. We have uh, the 2nd of August and the 7th of September. Um, the, the 2nd of August, I'm, I was chairing that, so I'm happy to approve those minutes. Uh, if that could just be recorded. Uh, Councillor Ozen is not here to uh, ask if he's got any comments on those minutes, um, but I believe he has read them. Um, and then we have the 7th of September minutes, and myself and Councillor Sizer were on this one. Um, so I'm asking Councillor Sizer, are you happy with those minutes? I'm happy yeah, with them. I've read them and, cont and, and content. Um, do you have any comments at all about these minutes you'd like to raise at this point, Councillor Sizer? Brilliant. Okay. So that's that done, the minutes. Um, and then we shall move on to agenda item five, which is the hearing procedure, which I'm gonna just run through very quickly because we all know, we're all familiar with it. Um, so step one, appointment of chair being done. Step two, the licensing officer will outline the report. Um, step three, the applicant will present their case. Step four is normally responsible authorities, but they're not here today because they're satisfied and have withdrawn. Um, and then we have other persons who have submitted 
uh, in the application. They're not here today, but we have read, um, uh, councillors, we have read um, their submission. Yep, brilliant, you've nodded, fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we have step six, which is the discussion phase, 15 minutes, uh, step seven, closing remarks, step eight, final clarification, and then we will go on and consider the case. So. Moving swiftly on to step two, if I could ask the Principal Licensing Office, please, to outline the report. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. So the one item we are going to consider this afternoon is for a premises license under the Licensing Act. It's for International Food Store 283 Mass Street. The application is seeking to authorise the supply of alcohol for consumption of the premises. After the consultation period, based on the representation received, the applicant has reduced the hours further, which is from 8 to 2300 Monday to Saturday and from 10 to 2300 Sunday, as stated within the report. Representation still remains from one other person, and I have nothing else to add. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. It's fairly straightforward, members, so, so we can think we can just crack on with the next bit. Is that okay? Yeah, just nod. That's good. Um, yeah, so, Mr. Hicks. Your turn. Thank you. I'll just put, uh, I'm not going to go over the application again, but I just want to put uh, a little bit of meat on the bones, as it were. Um, in terms of the off license itself and super supermarket itself, um, just to sort of give you a bit of an idea, it's called the International Food Store for a reason because it's going to be selling international food. So it's concentrated on African food, Turkish food, Arabic food, etc. etc. Has a relatively high uh, price point. And in terms of its beers, you know, won't be selling any high strength, cheap lagers or alcohol any, any high strength stuff will be you know craft beers etc um mr uh akin is a person of character he does have uh relatives and family living locally he has lived locally himself although he doesn't at the moment and uh, he does have other venues uh, within the borough um, so he is experienced yeah, as i said it was for off sales only um, we've reduced the hours to the core hours as per council policy and, uh, and conditions have been agreed. The, the original conditions are on page 18 of the bundle, and uh, there are additions uh, on page 44. Um, yes. Been agreed with the police, with the Environment and Health, and with the licensing service. Um, I did write to uh, the other person via the council, and um, my letter is within that bundle as well, um, detailing the conditions and the hours to try and allay some of their concerns. Um, that probably only leaves me just to sort of talk about other person who, who unfortunately isn't here and i was hoping they were going to be here mm. um i'm going to stick my head above the parapet and say that i think their representation is borderline uh, not actually relevant and um, before i get shot down the reason i say that is that I'm, I'm not saying that their concerns aren't real you know they're local they live locally they they live through you know the problems that go on in certain areas um, and they've highlighted sainsbury's as an issue um, in fact, they've highlighted Sainsbury's quite a lot through, as you've seen, through their through their uh, representation. Um, and when I've read it, it just leaves me leads me to believe that actually Sainsbury's is a victim of crime and not a crime generator. Um, and therefore, I'm sort of failing to see the relevance of how issues that are occurring in Sainsbury's will affect this application. Bearing in mind, we've now you know reduced back to within core hours, which obviously are set at 11 p.m. closing and they're set at 11 p.m. closing for a reason because that's acceptable um just bear with me a minute please chair thank you yeah it was just a, a, as well just to add that that Sainsbury's itself is closed at 11 p.m. um there's no other licensed premises in the immediate vicinity um so it would be easy to to point the finger at our venue if it does start causing problems but it's highly unlikely um in regard to how they're going to operate how they're going to sell you'll see there that we've uh, we've offered an additional condition which i think is over and above what most off licenses do and certainly in, t in terms of the time frame in as much as they are if granted likely to, to be conditioned to actually ensure that staff pay attention to the front of the premises uh, and encourage people to leave obviously they can't force people to leave you know that's they're not there to police the area um, but they are conditioned to at least make those efforts to move people away from the front of the store, ensure it's kept clean and tidy, and that any noise doesn't uh, doesn't disturb residents locally. Um, I think I'd finally point out as well that above the store there are no residential properties; it's it's all offices above. I think it pretty much looks like all offices opposite, apart from opposite and right to the uh, to, to the to the building itself. Um, but unfortunately, we we obviously can't ask the resident 
you know any further questions in terms of what their representation was all about and i'll just underline that point that it, it seems to be all about uh, uh, uh sainsbury's itself which is a local policing issue certainly not a reason to uh to not grant this license as it sits in front of you today thank you chair yeah thank you for that mr hicks no, i agree with everything you've said there um just uh just for reassurance um on your, on your, on your conditions uh for signs to be placed at all exits requesting customers to respect the neighborhood and leave the area quietly you know that's that's a condition which we um think is a good condition to have on there um but i'd just like to open it up to members now for any further questions on this chair can i just quickly add that um the, the condition you you read out yeah um, you, you know that's been amended i, I don't know if you picked up yeah on no I've, I've used, it's in the letter isn't it that you yeah. sent so i can add to that um so that would be amended to signs to be placed at all exits and to the front of the premises requesting customers do not congregate and to respect the neighborhood and to leave the area quietly so yeah, yeah. Expansion yeah. On, uh, on what was originally offered. Yeah, I've got that. Thank you very much. Thank you for reminding us of that one. Councillor Sizer. Um, you've mainly answered my concerns, I have to say, but just thinking of ongoing interaction with any residents that are around, you're right. I think that it's slightly off to the right. There are some residential properties. So um, are there any um, any things in place for ongoing interaction, discussion, any concerns that the residents have with noise and uh, people spilling out onto the pavement, etc. How can we nip that in the bud as quickly as possible by having that interaction? Yeah, here we sound here. So obviously, as I uh, pointed out earlier, the condition about making sure the front is clean, tidy and encouraging people to leave. Um, but in addition to that, I would direct your attention to condition number 17 on the original conditions offered, um, which will be the license shall provide and maintain a dedicated phone number of senior yeah. management and or the right. designated premises supervisor. Great. Yeah. I mean, it's quite a wordy condition, but uh, yeah, there'll, there'll be a number for somebody to call if uh, if they have issues. Can, can we make that as prominent as possible? Just thinking, yes, you're right that it's not a very residential area, but what you do sometimes get is people drinking in the square section um i take on board what you're saying that it's probably not going to be a destination point for picking up drink to take into the square i get that but again just wanting to really really make sure as we set off that everything's as good as possible so can we make sure all the signage is really clear really prominent and there's lots of interaction with yeah, um, absolutely. residents absolutely i see mr aiken has joined us now so he can hear exactly what he needs to to do in terms of signage and uh, you have my assurance as well that i'll go back and check that uh, signage is prominent yeah and they're uh, readable and you know residents can actually see that number brilliant yeah. that's fantastic that's, that's very reassuring thank you councillor garbage uh thank you mr hicks and hello mr aiken um yeah just i wanted to ask um just a couple of questions about how you've considered sustainability on the green agenda, particularly around saving energy. I see that the like there's quite a large refrigerator area, and I just wondered what the plans are to manage that, and just anything else around kind of reusables or single-use plastic that might um, be used in this in the um, shop as well as kind of by customers leaving. I'll be blunt in answering that. That hasn't been a consideration at all because it's not part of any licensing objective and not something that I feel should be considered as a part of this license application. Um, but obviously, Mr. Aiken can hear your concerns in terms of green agenda, etc. So that's something that maybe he wants to take on board going forward. Yeah, it is kind of within our policy now, uh, Mr. Hicks, to kind of you know help help speak about these issues and have a sort of informative around these issues because it is quite a pertinent issue for, for us all. Um, so we're just saying to, to people, bear in mind some of these things. Um, if you're going to have fridges, bear in mind the energy usage. You know, in other words, you know, you have a closed cabinet, like say an Aldi or whatever, with a door that you can open and then shut, that kind of thing, rather than the can open fridge just spilling out the energy. We're not yeah, saying it's no, I'm certainly not saying it's a it's a, 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 a you know I'm not don't want to be dis dismissive about yeah. the importance of that. It's just so I'll be honest, it, it's throwing me off balance because it's not part of you know applying for a license. But I hear what you're saying in terms of going yeah. forward, and it's a likely issue to be raised. So yeah. I'll, I'll bear yeah. that in mind for the future. So it's just really for the applicant to hear yeah, that. Sure, really, sure. that's all. Absolutely. And do and do and, you know no, use your no. conscience and do what you think's right. Yeah. Um, 
Any further questions at all? And it's obviously single use plastics around takeaway cups and all that kind of thing, coffees and things, uh, Engen, you know, that's important. Reusable stuff, you know, encourage people to bring their own beakers and that kind of thing, you know. Um, uh, okay, any further questions, members? Would you like to hear from Engen at all? I mean, Mr. Hicks, would you be happy for him to speak if he wants to? Oh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm, I'm more than happy if you uh, if you wish to uh, in interrogate him. That's fine. No, no, it's not interrogation. No, Engen, no, if you no. want to say <laughs> something, you know. Hi, uh, hi. Hi there. Hi. Sorry, I was a bit late because I couldn't log in. I, I had to get the app done, so it took me a bit late. Um, other than that, you know, um, there's I know there's some issues I think, but we can you know go around these. We can sort it out. If there's any problem, I'm happy to sort it out. I'm happy to help whatever I need to do. Um, I think Zoe asked about the fridges. We have a back space at the shop, and there's a space to, to put the fridges at the back, the, the big machinery. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we've got some permission from the landlord as well at the back. And uh, upstairs, I think there's no residential it's offices upstairs. Uh, other than that, what I need to do, you know, if there's issues or problems, I'm happy to sort it out uh, what I can do. You know, yeah, not to labor the point, Mr. Hicks, about the sustainability stuff, but just to get it across to Engin about what we're talking about. Yeah. When we walk into, say, Tesco's or whatever, and they have mm -hmm. fridges in there with things in the cabinets, some of, sometimes they leave uh, the customers leave the doors open. So when the doors are open and those fridges, all the energy basically, we're using more energy to kind of cool the, 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 the facility. You oh. see what I mean? So it's just, it's just understanding really that if you've got a fridge with doors on it, um that that saves energy and so that will make your business cheaper as well of course energy prices are very high now i know you're right and uh but with these kind of things i'm not really sure i might do fridges or i might do open fridges so yeah uh, i'm still drawing we're still the planning we're drawing so once um the license or once it's been pre approved then i'm going to draw plannings yeah about the inside and the what i can do what kind of fridges yeah 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 uh, but, if, so, but be aware that if you do have the fridges with doors on you will save save energy there so it will save it will save your costs that's all i'm saying and, no no you're right and plus it will go for a longer time Normally, exactly. pretty, yeah i know you're right you're right sir. um sorry mr hicks i know it's not but you know i have to I have to say it um okay any further questions but it is all? part of like you were saying chair it is part of our policy now isn't it we have made that more prominent in the yeah, the policy in line with our kind of commitment. So yeah, yeah. thank it's you. Just, yeah. That's really licensing helpful. policy then now. Yeah, it's sort of in there, yeah. but it's it's kind oh, of okay. it, it's you know it's mentioned really. Yeah. We know we know that it's sort of separate from the licensing objectives, but it's still sure. What, it's still kind of we're trying to encourage people down that road really. Yeah. you know. Um, Every okay, day I, think that, I think I think that's it really. I think we're done. Um, so. Thank you very much, everyone, for attending. Thank you, Mr. Hicks. Good luck with your kitchen Thank and you, your polished, polished concrete, uh, whatever, what you, you know, kitchen surfaces, whatever you're doing. <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank you. Thank See you, you all soon. Much, everyone. Much. Cheers. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. See you again. Good luck. Bye bye. So thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.